Hello and good morning everyone and thank you for joining our Symantec Backup Exec 2015 webinar today. Uh, so we are joined here by Miguel Toloza, a Backup Exec Specialist from Symantec who will be going through the webinar with you. Uh, we also have Matt Compton here, Backup Specialist from Bytes, who will be just discussing the relationship between Bytes and Symantec briefly with you. And um, we also have Joy Darrell, a Symantec Backup Exec Sales Manager in the UK, who will be here for the Q&A session at the end. Thanks, Amy. Um, so, as Amy said, my name's Matt. Uh, I work for Bytes, looking after the uh, backup business here. So, I've been here for a number of years, so I've seen the various uh, phases and, and plays between um, Semantic and Veritas, and as I'm sure well of you know, they are split as an organisation. Um, and today, they have uh, two separate sales organisations, HR, backup, um, finance department and as of next year there'll be two um, separate trading companies and what we're seeing from that is is more focus on their traditional licensing products um, especially around the Veritas piece. So today obviously we're talking about back of Exec 2015 but we're also seeing a, a lot of interesting um, sales plays and, and marketing and, and products coming down the line. Um, so where do Bytes sit? So, so Bytes have been a, a strong platinum partner of um, Semantic for um, well over 15 years. Um, we have a in-house team of product and licensing specialists of which I sit in um, and then alongside us we have a team of technical um, technical specialists and they're there to offer anything from design, implementations, health checks or even thought through to, to manage services depending on, on, on your requirements. So. Um, uh, I, I will let Miguel go into the details now, but I'll, I'll jump on back at the end of the call and the webinar just to discuss a couple of offerings that we can uh, help you with to talk you through the, the new licensing models and options and um, agents that you can do with uh, Backwards at 2015. Thanks. Okay, I'm now going to pass you over to Miguel. So good morning, everyone. Uh, I guess you can see my screen now. Okay, we we are gonna talk about today backup exec 15. The, this is the the latest version for for backup exec was released uh, last month. Um, my name is Miguel Tolosa. I am the backup exec specialist for for EMEA and Symantec. I've been in 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 the company for almost nine years. I've been working in support before of the product and now I'm, I'm working like uh, in this new role uh, as a, a pre-sale uh, for the for for now the very task. so this is uh, my team uh, I work for for the VTSS is the team to support uh, our internal sales and our partners uh, for any kind of technical queries they could have related with the with the pre-sales uh, with the deal. Uh, those are our point of contact. Um, uh, yeah, basically, where we changed the name recently, so we are going to have to change this <coughs> this contact uh, again. So, so basically, the the agenda for today, uh, we are going to cover. This, 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 those are the points we're going to cover. Basically, we're going to talk about the main difference between uh, Bagasec 15 and the previous versions. Uh, there are not a lot of uh, new features, like features, but uh, there are some new, some new things that uh, could be very interesting for the customers to to migrate to the new to the new version. So let's start with a little bit of introduction. Uh, Talk about a little bit the, the information challenges, um, where the market trends in regards with the backup and recovery. Uh, many many people is moving now uh, completely or almost completely to to virtual environment. Uh, everybody is now with normally with a mix uh, environments where you can find physical machines, virtual machines. 
it's very rare you find somebody right now that is uh, only physical, for example. Uh, everybody has a little bit of uh, the environment move already to virtual. Uh, the cloud is something that is really starting now, but uh, many, many people is now having uh, some kind of uh, infrastructure or storage or something in the cloud. So these the new, relatively new technologies are, are changing the way we, we, we work. Uh, keeping pace with data growth means that uh, data centers are growing data. They are doubling almost the amount of data they store every year. So uh, that means that it's a, it's a challenge for for administrator to every administrator to to manage all this amount of data every year because we have the same amount of time to back up the same data. We have the same storage, so we have to figure out how to how to do that, and every year is, is, is getting more and more complex. Uh, reducing the cost and complexity is another of the, of the challenge we have. Uh, the budget, the IT departments have, they are normally flat or they even decrease sometimes. Uh, the complexity of the environment are, uh, every year are getting more complex. Now it's not this, this, this environment that you, we used to have 10 years ago. Now everything is more is more complex. The uh, all different type of hardware and technologies uh, in a hybrid environment, and we have to to make something uh, uh, the backup to make it simple. So it's not more expensive for us, and it's still easy to 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 manage. So uh, so we released Bagasse 15, as I said, uh, one month ago. Uh, we tried to to deal with these uh, challenges we had, so mm, that's the way we see it, and that's the why all our technology is is is, is moving in, in this trend. So we develop like a flexible solution, a flexible solution that is capable of backup, uh, is fully integrated with virtual environments, hypervisors, uh, is integrated with with cloud services. Uh, and, and customers can really decide where and how to back up, uh, duplicate the backups, and send offsite backups. So we are fully flexible in that. So depending on the customer needs, they can do whatever they 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 need. We develop a powerful solution. So we we, we now have the fastest uh, solution. We uh, this version is the fastest we had. We have like a powerful deduplication, uh, so we can have all this amount of data uh, in our data centers. We can deduplicate all this for in this all this information. We can have uh, faster backups, faster recoveries that allow us to to manage all this increasing uh, grow of information. And uh, it's a easy to use uh, software because. Uh, if everything is unified in one console, so we can manage all type of backups, no matter virtual backups, if uh, we have physical, we have granular restores, everything is centralized in one console and it's uh, easy and intuitive to use. Now we also include some uh, more possibilities of licensing based on, on terabytes that make it easier also to, to license and, and for customers and, and for partners. So what were the things we added in this uh, in this new release that uh, to address this, this this problem? So we extend the virtual and cloud support. Like we we now support vSphere 6. It's the latest uh, VMware release. It, it was released like two weeks before our backup set 15 was was released, uh, and we support all the technology that comes with this uh, latest version. The virtual sun, virtual volumes, uh, Evo Rail, everything. So we support, we fully support this version almost from the first day. Uh, we have cloud integration apart from the cloud offers we had before. Uh, now we can also integrate with Amazon uh, VTLs. We will see a little bit later uh, how to configure or how it will look like. 
uh, to keep in pace with data growth. Now we, we can we can support for virtual uh, machines, uh, granular restore for more than two, two terabyte uh, uh, volumes. Also for GPT disk, we can perform sun restore for virtual machines. We can perform hot add backups for SATA disk as well. Uh, and we perform global deduplication that is, uh, was already in the previous releases, but just to point it out, that our duplication is uh, one of the most powerful in the market, basically, because we do all kinds of duplications, client side, service side, uh, third party uh, appliances, and it's across all locations and all backup jobs, which allows to, to be more, more powerful and effective. To reduce uh, cost and complexity, we, we, are, we have simplified the licensing uh, with a new uh, licensing model. We will see later more details about it. Uh, and we centralize the management uh, of, of, of for all the jobs. So, so the, the console is now is more easy and intuitive, and it's everything centralized there. Uh, we have faster upgrades and migration. It's easy to migrate all your jobs and everything uh, with uh, an intuitive uh, wizard like from the B2010. So yeah, that's the new IT. The new IT before was built to last. Uh, we were talking about this kind of environment where you have one backup server with their storage attached to back up a few remote servers. But now everything uh, is changing, everything has changed. Now you have uh, different locations. Uh, you duplicate your backup maybe in the cloud to tape in different uh, type of storage. You have virtual, you have, uh, it's very, it's flexible, it's changing every day. We have virtual machines, we are powering power off, uh, bringing new online. So everything is changing almost day by day. So we have to be, to be flexible, to be flexible to address this kind of uh, changes. So let's, let's talk about uh, the, new, the new things in this version. So one of the things, uh, as I mentioned before, is the new virtual platform support, the support for BSphere 6 and, and for, the, for all the, the VMware products that come with it. Now we work with the VDDK 6.0, so that version of the, the libraries of VMware are compatible, are backward compatible with 5.5 .5 and 5.1. So those are now the, 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 the versions we can support because of this. So the versions we support for vSphere are 5.1, 5.5, and 6.0. Uh, all the technology that comes with this new version, the, the virtual fans, the Vivo, uh, are now uh, fully compatible. And the SSL certificate uh, is not new, but now it's mandatory in this version of VMware. So we uh, we also support it. it. This is transparent for customers. You don't have to do anything. It's just more security was added. So because of this uh, enhancement, um, because we're using the latest uh, versions for the BDDK, now we support HODAT for SATA disk. We support uh, GPT partitions and more than two terabyte volumes for granular restore. We used, we used to support it before. Now we support it also for granular restore. And now that uh, VMware does uh, support Windows 2012 R2, you can install the backup SX server as well in this uh, virtual environment with this uh, operating system version. Another new, new thing we have with this is uh, the Sun Transport Restore. We, we, we were capable to do the backups through the sun of our VMware. Now it's also possible to do a restore. That will increase the performance when you are restoring the full, the full, uh, full restore of the virtual machines. It's gonna be much uh, faster. Uh, note that sun transport is not recommended for 3 provisioning disk, 
because the performance you might have in this type of environment is probably even slower that you might have uh, if you do it through over the network. Uh, uh, some new things, uh, the integration with the cloud, uh, backup to cloud, um, backup from the cloud. So backup to cloud, we offer already some options to, to backup in the cloud and we add now the Amazon Storage Gateway ETL. So it, it's meant to perform some off-site backup. So normally people will get it like to have a secondary copy of uh, their backup to have it outside, so they have to to get this um, this storage with Amazon, and we we integrate with it, and and it will appear in backup sec as a virtual tape library. So for the customer, it's transparent. It's meant to be cheap. It's meant to be all the storage is meant to be cheap. So it could be a good option for many customers that want uh, like a second copy outside to have upside to for in case of disaster for example we also offer the possibility of installing backup sec uh, in the cloud and use it from there so let's see a little bit more detail of this uh, amazon vtl as i mentioned before so we expand the, our cloud capabilities so we offer more options to the customers so apart from all the options we have uh, that are one of the more uh, diverse of the of the market, uh, you can backup tape this and all other type of uh, storage. Now we also offer this type of uh, uh, storage. So uh, it will work like connecting, you will have uh, on premise, you will have this uh, Amazon virtual machine that it will work as some, um, uh, connector through ISCASI with the backup server. And this virtual machine will connect directly with Amazon and all, all your storage is gonna be there. You will have uh, uh, your normal tapes, virtual tapes, and also like an archiving uh, for long retention uh, tapes with Amazon Glacier. So it will be cheaper for long retention. So basically in the backup stack interface, it will look like something like that. It will look like a normal virtual tape library, but uh, it's connected through ISCASI, but it's actually sending all the information in the cloud. So this is it's always accessible. Some other new things. We increase um, um, the security in the backup stack database. We had some encryption. Now we add a second layer of encryption. Uh, it will make it more more secure. That's basically one of the few security enhancement we have in this in this version. Performance. We we increase uh, the performance to meet all these uh, uh, backup windows. So we, we improve backups and restores from previous versions like 2010, 2012. And now in this version, we also improve the restores because we can perform, for example, sand restores. So that will be uh, increase the, the, the performance for that type of restores. But if you compare with older versions, you, you might find improvement of 100%, 150, even more. So. Is this is the fastest version we we ever had. There are other backbone changes are worth mentioning. We now only support media servers with 64 bit, uh, 64 bit. Uh, we still can back up 32 bit operating system, no problem. But the media server now has to be a 64 bit. Uh, the reason behind is because all the applications and platforms we, we we are integrated, like for example, last, latest version of Exchange or latest version of VMware, they don't support 32-bit anymore. So to use their tools and be able to, to be still integrated with them, we have to move to a 64-bit uh, environment. Uh, now the SQL default repository is 2014. And 
probably in the next feature pack of the product, the archiving option is going to be end of life. Uh, it's good to know in case uh, you you plan to to upgrade. So let's talk a little bit about the licensing. This is one of the most interesting uh, things you might find in this version. We still, uh, in general, those are the options uh, we have to, to license our customer's environment. So we have the normal, traditional uh, licensing mode that is uh, for every agent, every remote server you back up, every option you get, you pay for it individually. This is the traditional one. We had V-Ray edition, like from 2012, that you pay for the CPUs you have in your hypervisor, and then you can, you can back up all your virtual environment. Uh, then you had the capacity edition, that you pay for the front end information that you protect. So you pay per terabyte, and you have all the options included. And you also have the small business that is meant for a small business for one, two, three servers. And now the new one is this uh, capacity edition light. So this is, it works exactly the same capacity edition works, but it's meant for a smaller business that don't use all these full uh, options that they are in capacity, in the full capacity. So let's see here some more details of this. So the, basically the capacity edition includes the backup server, all the agents, and all the virtual machines. So you, you can back up unlimited amount of uh, servers. So you just have to pay for the terabyte of information that you, that you protect. In the, in the other side, you have the full capacity for customers that need some more advanced options, maybe like the duplication or ND, NDMP, uh, CASO, library expansion they will need to get this, uh, this full capacity. But from, for some other customers that they are using the traditional licensing mode, it's probably going to be uh, very good to, for them to, to move to this capacity uh, model because it's more flexible when changing your environment, is uh, easier to license, and it's probably more convenient, much more cheaper, much more, cheap, more convenient in price uh, in general. So if you need some more uh, license on top of this, you cannot add them. You just have to move to, to, the, to the full capacity if you need some extra agent. Uh, you can also downgrade if you already have capacity. Go to capacity light if it's more convenient for you or it's cheaper because you don't use maybe some of the advanced options. Well, this is just an example of a of a normal uh, small environment of a customer, one terabyte of data, a few servers. Uh, you can back up the same environment in different ways. Each one will have a different price, but uh, if the customer gets the capacity light, uh, moving from a a la carte or traditional method, it will be like 70% uh, cheaper or, or more, depending on the, on the environment but they will find a significant uh, reduce of the, of the price of license. The same here, a little bit more like bigger environment, three terabytes, a few agents, few license, few options. It's, uh, it's gonna be way cheaper. Get the capacity edition and not only because of the price, also because it's gonna be more flexible. Uh, it's gonna be easier for us to quote, it's gonna be easier for the customer to add new servers if they need, or uh, so it's going to be better for them. And they, they could have all the options included so they can try, they can get the, all the features of the product. So now uh, we are, for, for customers that have active maintenance, we offer free upgrades, like always, like customers with maintenance, they will get all the, all the upgrades. And without uh, maintenance, they will get like a, a discount. Uh, now it's, it's going to be very easy to because we want all our customers to move from from the old method uh, of licensing, the, the traditional mode, to move 
to a new to the new capacity uh, model because it's going to be better from them it's going to be better, better for us it's going to be way cheaper so you can cross grade your installation and move it to a terabyte licensing just uh, renewing your your maintenance with us so i think it's going to be pretty pretty convenient in terms of migrations of upgrades uh, you can upgrade to the new version from like three versions behind so b2010 2012 and, and 2014 you have your direct upgrade if you want to migrate from a previous version you have to do a two steps migration so first migrate to one of those versions and then do a second migration all your jobs uh, all your backups are gonna migrate so it's a smooth and easy migration so in general why is uh, what's the value of backup 16 mm, because uh, it's a backup uh, a recovery engine designed to achieve is the uh, integrated simplified disaster recovery we are uh, we protect physical machines and we provide also like a, a disaster recovery tool integrated with the product that allows to restore even in, in a dissimilar hardware uh, any physical machine this is included with the base product so it's no there is no options no extra license so we are storage as agnostic is the way always backup as I want it to be we, we want to be flexible in the storage offer we have <clears throat> we, we, we have one of the more diverse uh, hardware compatibility list in the market we support all type of tapes uh, disk the duplication uh, third party the duplication cloud storage and so on we are fully integrated with virtual uh, as well as physical it's everything is smooth it's one in one step backup you can back up all your virtual environment and restore the individual items from uh, any of these uh, machines we perform one of the most advanced uh, the duplications in the market we, it's one of the, 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 the that performs better and, and performs global deduplication what means that we can compare all our data with all jobs and all locations which make us uh, better performance and better the duplication we now we used to offer cloud we, we offer more uh, like what we mentioned before the Amazon BTL some more offers on on the cloud we have the latest platform support like we, we support all the uh, applications we are integrated with like exchange SQL Oracle we are supporting the latest versions for for this and, and like the virtual platform support that we released the, the VS first six so everything is uh, the latest versions so uh, you will have uh, you will find a lot of information in the web if you go to bagabstech.com you will have a lot of data sheets white papers a lot of uh, sales information uh, end customers information some videos uh, related with the specific features specific uh, uh, things you can train yourself you have uh, a lot of information uh, Twitter like forums uh, and, and support uh, backup like training you can find in these links uh, some more information how to get your own like free training online that will help you to uh, start with the product, easily configure, and, 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 and quick fix problems. So Backup Stack 15 is already uh, available. It is for one month now. You can go here, download the trialware version if you already don't, uh, test it out. You have uh, 60 days trial period for all the options. So you can download it from here so time for questions and answers
Thanks, Miguel. I'm just going to pass over to uh, Matt Compton quickly just before the Q&A. Okay. Thanks, Amy, and thanks, Miguel. Um, so, so quickly for those of you on the on the call that are current uh, backup music customers, why upgrade? So, obviously, we've touched on a, a couple of areas around the technical side of things, um, the version and support. So, if you are on VC6 or above. Um, but mainly, what we're certainly seeing in our in our, in our customer base is around the license model. So um, there generally is huge cost savings to be had. So um, there is a promotion on at the moment um, that allows you to switch from your current model um, to the terabyte model, um, whereby you can uh, access up to a terabyte of, of data per agent that you've got in license support so that has to be in maintenance um, so what we're doing with a number of our customers is um, having a, a conversation with them pulling off um, what licenses you've currently got and then ascertaining how many terabytes you can get with that um, the positives on the back of that is depending on which version you go for whether it's a light or the standard version is you obviously get access to all those um, VM agents it potentially didn't have before or potentially deduplication at all so what we're seeing is customers are, uh, are moving from a traditional license model and um, to a terabyte model and savings um, are there to be had because you're just paying the renewal maintenance on the terabytes but also you're then getting the functionality to back up your virtual estate so potentially if there is multiple backup solutions in your environment um, standardizing that across one so simplifying the environment so um, if you are in a position where you'd like to know how many uh, terabytes you're eligible for um, under the new model and what sort of cost would look like for maintenance and, and growth on that side of things, then um, drop a, a, a note to semanticadvice.co.uk and either myself or one of the team will uh, come back to you and help you through that process. Um, but as I say, we have done it with a number of customers since the release last month um, and it's, it's looking very attractive for, for, for most people. Okay. Okay, thank you, Matt. Um, so we're now going to move on to the Q&A session. Um, so if you do have any questions, um, so just pop those in the questions box, which is just at the right-hand side of your screen, and um, we will answer those for you shortly. Okay, so we have a question from Charles um, who's asked, when is Azure support planned, specifically storing backups in an Azure backup vault? Hi, Miguel. Did... Yes, yes, of course. Um, when is Azure support planned, specifically storing backups in an Azure backup vault? Sorry, I didn't get that. Mm, I don't know what you mean with that. Okay. Support plan. Okay, I think Matt's Matt's uh, Matt's going to answer that one. One second. Thanks, Amy. Um, so yes, in, your, in answer to your question, um, today uh, it's it's not fully supported, um, but it is in development at the moment. Um, there is a service back to be re released later on in this year, and is expected to have full um, Azure integration and, and support as it currently does for AWS. So, um, in answer to your question, today no, but um, it, it should be happening uh, certainly by the end of this year, by the latest. Okay, thanks, Matt. Um, so we have a question here from Andy, um, who's asked, do client agent upgrades still require a reboot? Is 2012 R2 Hyper-V fully supported? Yeah, they, they, they still need a, a reboot uh, for to work properly. So, uh, yeah, I mean, when you upgrade uh, any agent to the latest uh, version, you still need to reboot the system. But I mean, the, the, the remote engine is it still compatible with this uh, version, even if it's not upgraded. So I mean, you have 
temporal support for that. So you have time to, to organize your, your upgrades and, and migration. So it's not that uh, as soon as you upgrade the media server, you are not going to be able to back up anymore. Like you still can back up what you don't have. You won't have the new features and, and, and the new functionality. But all this um, remote dangers will still work. You will just receive a, a warning. And, and the second question, yes, it's fully support now. OK, thanks, Miguel. Um, so we have a question here from Carl, um, who's asked, have you got licenses for big enterprises, so 10 plus servers, or would you need to pay individually per server still? Uh, which which, which uh, model, with uh, type of licensing? Um, Miguel, I, I could pick that one up. So, um, okay. in terms of the uh, the traditional approach, that in terms of the traditional approach, that that's still licensed per option and agent. There isn't any bundles that allow you to purchase um, multiple agents. Um, with regards to the terabyte, the, the newer model, um, there is price breaks uh, as per how many terabytes you purchase. So, um, there, there is a price break for one terabyte, then two to five, six to ten, and then upwards as you go, etc. Hopefully that answers your question. Okay, thanks, Matt. Um, so we have a question here from Latif, um, who said, the VM whole server backup, is that an image backup you are referring to? Uh, yes. Okay, thanks, Miguel. Um, so we have another question from Jamie, who said, uh, does backup exec allow you to convert physical servers to virtual? Yeah, it does. Uh, we, we have, uh, we, we, we do that like since 2012. So it's uh, an easy process. It's just a button in the, in, the, in the main interface. You just click it. And if you have a backup of this machine or you can perform one, it will just convert it to a virtual machine. It was easy and, and, and very intuitive. OK, thanks, Miguel. Um, so Ian has asked, um, does this version use VSS still? Sorry, I didn't get VSS, uh, about what? Mm. About okay. technology Miguel. or integration with it? Or? Oh, sorry, Miguel. He's, I think the customers had to uh, go offline. So we will um, we'll respond to, um, to Ian in an email with that one or a call uh, after the webinar. Oh, I'll get that. Okay. okay. That's perfect. Okay, so a question from Des, who's asked, um, what's the difference between standard and light, cost-wise? It's around maybe maybe fifty percent cheaper, but right? I think maybe Matt can can be more precise on that. Okay, Matt's just having a look now, so we'll we'll get back to you. On that one shortly, we'll get back back to you at the end uh, with that one, Des. Um, so Patrick has asked, what is required to back up directly to Amazon Storage? Uh, I mean, we, we just integrate with that. So uh, you need to purchase the storage to Amazon. So uh, I currently, I have the number somewhere, but I currently cannot tell you but I mean if you go to Amazon uh, website you will you will find the older prices there I mean we just uh, integrate to be able to, to send the information uh, to the cloud but uh, all the storage has to be uh, purchased to, to Amazon okay so we have another question here from Pete um, who's asked is backup exec 2015 media server supported running as a VM yeah yes yeah, you can run it
So Des here has said, just to clarify, um, if we have existing licensing, we can trade these in for per terrible licensing. Uh, yep, yeah, that, that, that's correct. So um, as an upgrade process, you can um, exchange your current traditional license in for the terabyte model. Um, so as I said, drop, drop a note to, to semantic at vice.co.uk and we can work out what you're eligible for. Um, what you would just be paying on those licenses is a, is a support maintenance for the terabytes, obviously, much more cost effective. Um, to give you an idea of the difference between the capacity and the light, as you asked earlier, um, a new license on Express at one terabyte, right? um, so the highest possible cost you would get at RRP um, is just under 2,400 for a terabyte. Um, and the capacity lies is just over 1500 um, but as I said that's an express a RRP so um, yeah that, that's for the full license and one year support so hi everyone just to expand on what Matt's just said it's Joy Durrell here I'm the back of exec sales manager for the UK so um, with regards to cross grading if you're in maintenance on back of exec um, you each option and agent you currently have under the traditional model is worth one terabyte under the capacity model and it, it's a maintenance renewal cost under capacity um, if you're out of maintenance you can do the same thing but it would be an upgrade cost so just to clarify that point okay thanks joy um, so next question, uh, this one's from Paul, um, who's asked, how are the terabytes measured and what happens if we exceed the bought amount? Okay, uh, the way we calculate... Um, so the terabytes... Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, go on, go on, Miguel. Um, so the, the, the terabytes are based on uh, the front end terabyte. So what a total amount of a backup equates to is um, the amount of licenses you require. So that excludes any deduplication or anything else to compress that data. So it's a full backup on the terabyte amount. Um, so um, once you are licensed under that model, um, similar to when you purchase additional agents, when you bring in new servers, as that data grows, you would be under terabyte model, so you would have to purchase additional um, terabytes. Um, it's, yeah, yeah. It, technically, um, the, the product won't stop you doing anything. Um, it's based on a trust basis. Yeah, it is, um, the way it, it counts the amount of uh, data, it's, uh, uh, it has in consideration your, your job history, so it's based on the job information for the last 30 days. So it will only count your full your full backups. So it won't count, for example, duplicated uh, to another storage or something like that, or incremental. So we'll just have in consideration the the last full backups you run in the last 30 days for different servers, and then it will calculate the amount of front end you are protecting. If you exceed that, you will receive a warning. Uh, you will keep receiving warnings. Uh, all the time you're exceeding that information. So in case you want to adjust the amount of uh, data you're protecting or in case uh, that you need to purchase more more terabytes. Thanks, Miguel. Um, so we have a question here from Glenn um, who's asked, is this fully disk to disk? Um, he has over 300 servers. So is there a limit on how how his uh, terabytes can be backed up? I mean, you can you can back up uh, no matter the amount of servers that you have. Uh, you you just need to calculate uh, this information. I mean. It, to calculate the front end information, we have some uh, tools, like partners also have these tools, they have access in the, in the web, uh, that you run it on your system, and it will allow you, you select the servers, you're planning to backup, and it, it will tell you the amount of uh, terabytes you will need to, 
to purchase for this. Okay, so next question is from Pete, um, who said, um, are there any plans to allow more than one deduplication folder per server? It would be good uh, when they have a lot of lumps of old storage to reuse. No, there, there are no plans for that because, I mean, it's, the, the technology doesn't allow to have uh, more than one. Actually, uh, the requisites in, in hardware and memory and space for, for one the duplication storage in one media service is already very high. Uh, it, it will be very, very difficult to have more than one. So if you need more the duplication storage, you will need to set more than one uh, media servers. Normally for the environment you can manage with one media server, one the duplication storage should be, should be fine. But the technology doesn't allow so far to, to do that, so there are no plans. Okay, and the next question is from Glenn, who said, um, how does the per terabyte pricing compare with the net backup terabyte? I don't know the, the net backup terabyte licensing model, so maybe not, but I think it's pretty similar, actually. Yeah. So, so, so I, I, I can pick that up. So, um, it's it's obviously cheaper than the the, the net backup license model, um, but um, it's it's comparing the two products. So, obviously, net backup is designed for large enterprise, fairly heterogeneous environments, um, and therefore the cost is, is quite significantly higher. Um, so, you're looking at probably about a quarter of the cost for um, backup reset compared to a net backup terabyte based on RRP. Thanks, Matt. Um, so, question from Charles. Um, for converting agent licensing to capacity licensing, how long is the promotion available? Okay, so, so that's an ongoing um, promotion. Um, that Semantica are running. So, as Miguel touched on earlier, obviously it's easier for you as a customer to, to be running on a terabyte model for management use, but um, it's also easier for, for Veritas or Semantic. So, um, uh, I, that, as you can, as you will see, that the prices are extremely competitive, and that's because there's a urge to get most people over to a terabyte model. So, um, at the moment, we don't know of any end date, and we've been told that that will continue. Okay, so Nigel um, has asked, do we have to buy separate licensing for Exchange Server, or SQL, etc., or is it all included in the capacity edition? It's it's all included. I mean, uh, uh, actually, that that type of uh, the applications were unified. The license were unified a few versions ago, so everything is is, is included in the applications and database license. And that license is inside of the capacity. Full capacity includes all options and agents. So, and, and capacity light will include all, all application agents as well. So, so yeah. OK, thanks, Miguel. Um, so I have a question here from uh, Greg, who said, I understand that GPT backup is now possible for file level restore, but are there any plans to bring that function into Backup Exec 2014? Maybe you mean 15 in, in that one. Not to 2014, because uh, uh, the, the, the libraries we, we used to work uh, in that version, are not compatible with that. So that's why we bring up this new version that works with the new library. So so it won't happen in, in 2014. So you need this kind of support you have to, to move to the new version. Okay, question here from Cassie, um, who said, when having a mix environment of virtual and physical, can both be backed up on the same tape? Yeah, yes, definitely. I mean, that's one of the, the points uh, 
we we talk about the presentation is this uh, unified between physical and virtual everything simplified like in one console in one backup so yes you can you can back it up all your resources everything whether it's virtual or physical and put it in, in the same storage or Okay, thank you. Um, so Stuart has said um, that the bulk of his data is on a single server, six terabytes, um, but they have 12 servers in all. Could we use the capacity addition license for one server and normal for the others? Uh, I mean, if you have one environment, uh, let's say one site where you have your backup server and you back up your uh, remote servers, uh, that media server has to have capacity uh, for everything. Like if you are mixing, you can mix with another environment, but for example, you cannot have two environments, one with capacity, another one with capacity light. Okay, because uh, you cannot mix these kind of things because capacity light won't have like enterprise server options, so you, you won't be able to to, to do that. But you can mix with another environment where you have uh, the appropriate options to, to make the, the, the enterprise server communication like between different sites. But not, you cannot mix, for example, capacity light and capacity. Or you cannot add license, extra license to a capacity light, for example. But the ideal, the way to go is, is like migrate everything to, to capacity because it's the easiest and, and, and the most effective way to, to go. Okay, thanks, Miguel. Um, so the last question I think we have, um, this one's from Des, um, who said, with the terabyte license, can we upgrade from 2014 to 2015 for free? If you have maintenance, you can always upgrade for free, no matter which version you are. Okay, so another one from Des um, here. So if we need the Mac agent, but none of the other features of the capacity standard, can we use Lite and purchase the Mac separately? No, as we mentioned before, if you have capacity light, you cannot add extra features. So if you need these extra features, you have to move to full capacity. Okay, thanks, Miguel. And I think that's all the questions we have for today. Um, so thanks uh, again, Miguel, for presenting the webinar today. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. And as mentioned before, we will send you a copy of the recording um, this afternoon. Um, and also, if you could fill out the critique form, which should pop up uh, once you log out of the webinar, that'd be um, really, we'd really appreciate that. So thanks a lot, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your day.